Knowledge out here, Bayou Hot Wings. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Knowledge Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we eat a burger in New Orleans at a location Adam Richmond of the Travel Channel's Man vs. Food Show fame says has the best wings in the world, hidden away right here in a strip mall. We're also going to feast on some of New Orleans' best alligator, frog legs, and fried chicken as we enjoy delicious New Orleans fried food at Bayou Hot Wings for our restaurant review videos looking for New Orleans' best food. Bayou Hot Wings is located in New Orleans at 6221 South Claiborne Avenue, which is about 11 minutes and 5 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. They only do carry out here, so you either have to call ahead on the phone or do an internet order, and my order's already been placed and I'm here to pick it up. So unfortunately, since the pandemic hit, they've removed all of this amazing stuff they used to have decorating their walls and made it a lot more plain inside here. So that's kind of taken some of the fun character away, unfortunately, and so many of the great pictures just aren't inside anymore, and you can't even go inside these days. But let's take a look at the menu now and see what we're gonna get. So under Southern Fried, we have a choice of Bayou Tenders, Gulf Shrimp, Gator Bites, Frog Legs. On the bun, we have a Bayou Half Pound Burger, Western Chipotle Barbecue with Bacon, Blue Cheese Bayou Burger with Bacon, Grilled Chicken Breast Sandwich, Fried Chicken Breast Sandwich, and Creole Shrimp on a Bun. Then we have salads with Caesar Salad and House Salad. Next, we have Bayou Hot Wings with a variety of choices with the number of wings and a whole lot of great sauces and flavors to get. Then we have wraps with a Hot Boy Chicken Wrap, Shrimp Wrap, Gator Wrap, Chicken Pesto Wrap, Shrimp Remy Wrap, Chicken Caesar Wrap. Then we have our Bayou Sides with House Made Slaw, House Made Tater Salad, Mozzarella Sticks, Bayou Fried Pickles, Celery and Choice of Dip, Seasoned Fries, onion rings, sweet potato fries, sausage, and seafood jambalaya, and eating Nola's famous fries with garlic butter, parmesan, cheese, and ranch, and then a choice of beverages. So they do have some pretty strict rules here, so they don't allow walk-up orders, and then you also can't even stand in front of the place and call to put your order in. So they at least do have tables outside now to dine outside if you want. And of course, I got a cheeseburger. Ho, ho, ho. And I've had the cheeseburger here many times in the past and really enjoyed it, but it's been about two years since I had the burger. So it's been way too long and uh, the french fries have changed since the last time I had it. They used to be a thicker British chip style of fry. Now they're just a plain french fry. Last time I had it, it was juicy and delicious, and uh, it's been a long time. We'll see how it is. Definitely was uh, juicier the last time I got it. This is a little uh, tougher, a little more cooked, well done. the beef, more bun than meat. He tries having above average uh, crispiness to them, so they're nice, crunchy, well fried. So just like I destroyed this cheeseburger, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger. And while you're down there, 
Remember to look at the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for my burger was $13.26 before tip and I pre-ordered and paid for that on their website. My next online order I went crazy with for all of y'all out there with two pairs of frog legs, regular gator bite, six piece golf shrimp, and five piece bayou tenders for a total of $37.15 before tip. Ha <laughs> ha all right. What's in the bag? So I got a uh, six piece shrimp. And these are, uh, hmm, they didn't label it. We're gonna guess and say these are uh, gator bites. Another unlabeled item. These are uh, frog legs. And then we have some chicken tenders. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh, let's see. I got these all for the sauce that I thought they would come coated in, but let's see. So my actual order was. Uh, Frog legs. We have a Korean barbecue. Here's our frog legs. Ooh, frog legs. I believe these are the gator bites. And these are the shrimp. So I guess they provided some. Dipping sauces on the side for all of these. Um, hmm. They're not really <laughs> labeled. Uh, so I don't know how I'm supposed to figure out what is what in here. There we go, one more in here. I guess I got a wide variety of dipping sauces to try and experiment and see what we've got going on here. So I'm supposed to get the Korean barbecue with my frog legs here. It's gonna be one of these red sauces, I guess. Then, uh, the Bayou Beast was supposed to go with the shrimp. Then Arumalad and Chipotle Barbecue were supposed to be on the chicken. So one of the sauces did go on the chicken and the other one on the side. So <laughs> I'm not, not sure what is what over here. So uh, let's see, I guess we'll start with uh, dipping sauce. I guess this is the Arumalad. Hmm, a little oniony there. Try one of these shrimp. They are nice looking shrimp. Mm. Okay, we'll try another of these uh, shrimp with this sauce. Don't know what sauce this is. Some kind of barbecue, I'd imagine. Hmm. We'll call that one the uh, Korean barbecue. Ooh, this one smells uh, quite a bit spicier. I'm thinking this might be the Chipotle barbecue. Mmm. <laughs> That one's the spiciest. I think this might be my favorite too. Mm, pretty nice. Wow. A little water after that. Ooh, ooh, so I think that will go perfectly with the gator bites. Now look, to be perfectly honest, most people I know that live in New Orleans and most of Louisiana, we don't eat alligator that often more of the tourists that eat most of it just to sample it and say they did. It's been literally decades since I've last had alligator. You know, I've tasted it and eaten it. It's okay. Sometimes it's tougher, sometimes it's more tender. So let's see how Bayou Hot Wings alligator is. Okay, a little of the spicy Chipotle barbecue. Like most uh, reptiles, amphibians, tastes like chewy chicken. All right, let's try on these other sauces. Do the rum a lot. Yet again, chewy chicken. Let's try one of these frog legs now. Oh, look at here, got the whole back portion. These, uh, you know, I've eaten these since I was a kid. They always pretty much taste like chicken to me. They're very delicate though. 
Take a bite. Mmm. These are uh, better than the alligator. The alligator they typically up from the till. The alligator definitely is a more muscular beast. The frog is very delicate meat. It tastes nearly exactly like chicken. Mmm. 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 Frog legs are actually quite nice. Uh, never had frog legs. Definitely give it a try. Uh, it's very delicate meat. It's quite tender, actually. Mm. My goodness. Mmm. We actually see these on menus a bit more in a lot of restaurants outside the French Quarter and regular restaurants than you do the alligator. The alligator is uh, not as common in a lot of restaurants once you get outside of the French Quarter. Mm. I would say the frog legs are less common than they used to be though. You see them in a lot more restaurants. Okay, let's try the chicken tenders. Their main claim to fame. So let's see just uh, what it tastes like without dipping it in anything else. Mm. The sauce, ugh, well, well, the sauce makes it a little uh, slippery. It's a little greasy here. Let's try it again. Hmm. There's no crunchiness left on the chicken, so I don't know if that really did it a favor getting the sauce uh, all coated on it ahead of time. Let's try uh, one of those Korean barbecue, see how that goes. Mm. Let's try with the Rumelade. Rumble needs a little more uh, Creole mustard to my taste. Hmm. Interesting. All around. This is more of this spicy chipotle. Now, I've had the chicken before when it's been crunchy and crispy. It's way better then. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed this time. And the chicken being kind of uh, just soaked through the crust. No crunchiness really. It's just kind of mushy on the crust. In the past, it's always been very crunchy though. So, the savor of this visit. Really, the shrimp and the frog legs are the two best things. Typically, I'd probably say the chicken's one of the best things, just not this visit. Little Pinot Noir I uh, need to finish off with the other night, so I figured I would just go ahead and grab it and give a little sample, see how this tastes with the uh, sample wine, which most of us probably would be better with a white wine, but oh well, you have what you have. Mmm. There's so many spices going on in my mouth from all the various sauces. I pretty much just taste burning spice in the moment. <laughs> Trying to be neat and I'm already covered in grease still, just from the shrimp. Okay, let's uh, finish off these fried legs. Oh, look, it's Kermit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, this is just. Such delicate meat. I'm trying to think, I don't know if I've ever eaten any other kind of amphibian other than a frog. Comment below if you have. The only other reptile I can think of I've had is snake. It's kind of bony. It was not my favorite meal. 
But frying legs have pretty well always been quite tasty to me every time. Well, Kermit is definitely delicious. So Kermit the Frog, gotta say, you were quite nice. Enjoyed you. Uh, <laughs> so, mm, I'm all over the place here with this grease. Okay, let's just dig in with a wild gator bite. Dip it in the chipotle. Mmm. Well, pink color. Looks like we're off of Louisiana. And you got frog legs, alligator, some good fried shrimp, and crazy spiced chicken tenders all from one place. Bayou Hot Wings definitely does very interesting selections and options. So, wow. Uh, tonight, definitely the frog legs were the overall probably taste winner. The shrimp, close second. Chicken tenders have always impressed me. This is the first time I've ever gotten them where they were a little uh, mushy in the crust. And I pretty quickly went and picked them up too. So, I don't know, they just really put a huge amount of sauce on there. So they definitely thickly coated that sauce on there. Mm. See if I can degrease my fingers. Whoa, all this fried food. I'm not gonna feel so chipper and healthy tomorrow, I'd imagine. And on top of that, these spicier sauces sometimes have their own price to pay later too, with a little upset stomach. So we'll see how the uh, spices treat me. I mean, this thing is so spiced with the original sauce on it, it doesn't really need any other dipping sauce, I don't think. So let's just take it on the bite of this. Mm. I mean, this is just a huge tender. What kind of dinosaur chicken is this from? Very moist. So if the chicken crust was just crunchier and not all mushy from the sauce, it'd be a really good chicken tender. So I would say the chicken tender, more moist, juicy, better than the alligator. Alligator, most people eat a few bites just to say they did it. It's, uh, you know, it's, they can be tender, just usually when you fry it, it tends to be more tough in my experience. I think the uh, Cajuns out in Acadiana do a little bit better job of it than uh, a lot of our New Orleans places and so many of the places that offer in the quarter, very much very tourist places that not a lot of locals go to. So this is one of the few locals joints that actually offers the alligator that I know of. Once you get out into the Cajun lands, there's a lot more uh, alligator on offer, more of the local people eating it. Um, New Orleans, for the vast majority of people that live in the area, that are from the area, they probably have tasted it. It's just, once you taste it and have it once, you usually don't eat it on a regular basis. Now, I have seen some people post pictures recently of a whole alligator being barbecued. Now, I'd take a taste of that. I mean, these things are just coated in sauce. My goodness. Whoa, I mean, this is drowned in so much sauce. I think I could take a little lighter sauce coating of it. So maybe, depending on the sauce you get, you might not want to get the first sauce. You have an option to get no sauce coating and just get a side sauce. If you like your uh, chicken crunchy, that might be the better option for you. So, good advice for all you tourists who have never tried alligator. Ooh, just get it as an appetizer. So everybody can get a bite of it, and you're probably, you know, and usually some people love it, they just keep taking it down. But for the fried little nuggets of it, typically one or two bites is more than enough. Um, now there's some really good sausage made out of alligator, some other ways people cooked it. Alligator pecan, some other dishes where it's way more tender, but the fried version, which is where most people are gonna sample it in the French Quarter, it's the most common way that you see it there. It's gonna be the fried little nuggets, and ah, you know, you might love it. Everybody's got their own taste. But my experience, most people typically one or two bites of the little nuggets and they're glad to say they sampled it and that's it. I think I got the Bayou Heat on this one, which I think is their hottest sauce. That was really smart on me, you know. Oh, I'm almost out of water. This is getting dangerous. 
Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to finish this last one off, but oh my goodness. Um, I'm really starting to uh, have some, some build up with uh, my eyes are watering. My nose is starting to really uh, get a bit runny. My throat's starting to uh, get a little choked up a little bit. <laughs> it's just like, whoa. Oh goodness, okay, here we go. Oh God, the, they got all over my lips. My lips are really burning now. I'll tell you what, my sinuses have just really opened up and cleared up and now I'm uh, getting a really strong smell of all the fried stuff here. I'm smelling like super grease smell from the fried items here. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's really double down here and put some of the spicy chipotle <laughs> barbecue on here too. Because hey, why have one burn you can have two? Because life's too short to burn in one way. All right. Mm. That's probably a terrible idea. That's <laughs> oh, so, uh, just, you know, burn in a different way. Got like dual burns now. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm really wishing I had more water right now. Um, okay, let's power through. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Uh, put a little Korean barbecue on it, see if that tames it. Maybe a little sweet heat will help. Mm. Mmm. Okay, thankfully, last time I checked, I had milk. I'm gonna have to get some milk, I think. But, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm almost done. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm gonna have to run, maybe get some milk, water. The milk helps neutralize the burn to a certain degree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Ah. Okay, this is the last bite. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, finish off this. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 <laughs> so, ghost pepper's definitely way worse than this, but definitely uh, there's some burn in this stuff. So, just like I've destroyed all this fried food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And while you're down there, make sure to check out my Patreon account because after all this, I might need a lot of help recovering from all the spice build up, choking in my throat. And goodness knows, my stomach might not be so happy later. But <laughs> I can't say I did enjoy it a little bit though. A little burn's good, clears the sinuses out, makes everything better. Cheers. Oh, milk time. So thanks so much to everybody at Bayou Hot Wings for many years of great food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just recall to remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that enjoyed it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.